to show you something that will knock your socks off. Assuming you're wearing socks, of course. <laughs> it's Frankenstein! The classic gothic horror novel by Mary Shelley. It's very scary. Ooh, yeah, I'm really scared. Me too. Ooh, ooh, I think I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, pay attention because there will be a test tomorrow. Ah! In this story, a scientist sews together old body parts and uses the electric power of lightning to bring to life a hideous monster. <laughs> Snodgrass, I had a dentist appointment. I know, I know, it looks terrible. It doesn't look that bad, Lydia. Thanks, Marcus, but I've already looked in the mirror. One of my teeth is going upside down, so I have to wear this thing. Hey, it's only temporary, Lydia. Who cares how it looks anyway? Yeah, who cares how it looks? Even if it looks completely horrible. Ruby! Ruby. Sorry. Hey, what happened, Lydia? Did you catch your face in a fence? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you try to pick your teeth with a coat hanger. <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> All right, class. Now, Frankenstein's title character is not the monster, but the Baron Von Frankenstein, a twisted genius who tried to manipulate the forces of nature to serve his own fiendish obsession. And what a magnificent fiendish obsession it was! I'll say! Yes, Reticus! That twisted genius is a genuine role model. He's my biggest hero! Yeah, that Barney Van Finkelstein was quite a guy. Baron Von Frankenstein! What did I say? Baron Von Frankenstein created something very powerful, but he had no idea how to control it. He put himself and other people in grave danger. Does anyone think there's a lesson in this story? Whatever. Lydia? I guess the lesson might be that if you make something really, really ugly, then you shouldn't be surprised if people think it's really, really ugly. Yeah, like you, Fence Face. <laughs> Ow! Ah! So, you would say the book is about how we judge things and people by appearances. I guess so. But if he created something so ugly, then he couldn't have been very smart. Not very smart? What did she say? She said Darren Frankenheimer couldn't have been very... I heard her! All right, Reticus. Obviously, there's only one thing for us to do. What's that? We must avenge the Baron von Frankenstein by making his creation rise and walk again! Uh, that's what I was gonna say. All we need are spare parts for the body. Reticus, you must go into the school and find everything on this list. Now, go forth! What are you waiting for? You told me to go forth. I'm waiting for the first three. Go! Getting something rather important, Raticus? Um, I don't think so. The brain! <laughs> How could I forget the brain? For my creation, I need a very special brain, a criminal brain. Raticus, there's an old laboratory that's been locked up for years, ever since one of my student experiments went badly wrong. <laughs>
brain. Brain. Got it. One criminal brain in a jar. Nice cut back them. Bring me my brain. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, uh, oh. Oops. What do you mean, oops? I mean, oops. I hit your hidden camera. Sorry, Phantom. When Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, Fred Smurts, is that bubblegum? No, it's not. <laughs> so it is. Fred? Fredericus! What's going on? Where is my brain? It's uh, right here, uh, Phantom. <laughs> Bring it to me! No, oh, boy. When Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, the idea of using parts of the body to assist with the creation of life was wild speculation. But now, organ transplants happen every day. Maybe you could get a face transplant. <gasps> Mrs. Snodgrass, may I please be excused? <laughs> 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 This criminal brain is perfectly preserved. It's in mint condition. Well, the spearmint, actually. <laughs> what? Nothing. Stand back! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> hey, what happened, Lydia? Did you catch your face in a fence? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it looks like you try to pick your teeth with a coat hanger. Coat hanger. Ah! A hideous monster! monster! Hello! Well, what's your name? Milton. Milton? Ah, oh, doesn't exactly strike terror into your heart, does it, Phantom? Yeah! Oh, Hugs! <laughs> I think you hurt his feelings, Phantom. Monsters don't have feelings. Now, my hideous creation, I command you to go forth into the school and wreak havoc. Go forth! Uh, don't bother waiting for the first three, Milton. <laughs> 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 He's humming. Terrifying monsters with criminal brains don't hum. I think he's grunting, Phantom. In fact, that grunting noise is really scaring me. Can we turn down the volume? I tell you, Reticus, there's something wrong with that monster. He's uh, just warming up, Phantom. Uh-oh. Wonder what Earl is up to this time. Lydia's been gone a while. I hope she's okay. We'll just have to take her mind off her braces. Uh, we have to act as if nothing's wrong. You mean we gotta act as if she doesn't look like a hideous monster? Yes, Ruby. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just leaps off the page. Had about enough of this. If you want a monster, then I'll give you a monster. Yes. 
You cannot tell me that that monster is not humming. He's humming! Well, yes, but he's really bad at it, Phantom. I mean, his humming is uh, horrifying. <laughs> you see, Phantom, that's what I call a monster. He's a klutz! He's only ten minutes old. Why, the mere fact that Milton can stand up should make us proud. Very, very proud. Hmm. Hey, you guys. Oh, we haven't seen Lydia anywhere. Don't worry, we'll find her. But Billy, do you think maybe the monster got her? Well, if he did, he's got to deal with Billy O'Toole. Uh, Billy? What? Ah! 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 Here we go! Ah! It's all wrong! I don't know, Phantom. Having all this terror take place in broad daylight is a stroke of genius. And those daisies are absolutely horrifying. Hey, why don't I add a touch of cheap effects? <laughs> Much better, Raticus. I knew you'd like it, Phantom. Now all we need is a little mood music. <sighs> let's go, Milton. Let's go, Milton. Let's go, Milton. Let's go, Milton. Milton. Oh dear, I'm missing the pep rally. I'll be back in a few minutes for your eye exam, Principal Mulligan. Now, you may have trouble focusing for the next little while. Thank you, Nurse Cutlet. Well, who do we have here? Johnny. Aha. Uh -huh. And who's that with you? Rod. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Well, take a seat, boys, and let's hear what happened this time. Go on, sit down. Let's hear it. Now, we're going to sit here for as long as it takes. I've got all the time in the world. Lydia, come in. Are you sure? I mean, you're not afraid? I've seen Fred Smirts in his boxer shorts. I do not frighten easily. Well, that's good. Because everybody else thinks I'm a monster because of this. What? This, my brace thing. Oh, that. I hadn't noticed. Thanks. Why do you say everyone thinks you're a monster? Mostly because whenever I show up, they all scream and run away. Well, you don't think you're a monster, do you? No, I... I... Oh, I gotta go! The fact we haven't found Lydia yet means only one thing. The monster must have gotten her. But if we capture the monster, maybe we can save Lydia. But maybe Lydia's hiding. Even if she is, the monster will find her eventually. Lydia will never get away! Have you seen its face? Anything that ugly has to be a monster. If it looks like a monster, it's a monster. Even my friends. <laughs> we'll have to gather reinforcements. Didn't you say, Phantom? Pretty good mayhem, huh? I tell you, Reticus, there's something not right about that monster. As if one of his parts were deficient. Not his brain. He's got a perfectly good criminal brain. Came in a jar. They're right. I am a monster. Anything that ugly has to be a monster. The monster must have Lydia hidden away somewhere. We'll have to capture him and force him to tell us where she is. You think he can tell us? Uh, he doesn't sound very articulate. Very, very what? what? 
He doesn't talk good. He won't have to speak. He, he can just take us to Lydia. We'll split up now and fan out around the school. Uh, a village. The minute you spot the monster, give the signal. Yeah! Uh, what signal? Ruby? <gasps> monster! Where? <laughs> oh, right, that's the signal. <laughs> 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 Put me in! You're hitting your own reflection. It's okay, stop. It's okay. You see? That's not a monster. That's you. Yes, that's you, and that's me. You, me, me, you. You, me, me. No. <laughs> Great, I think. You see, you're not a monster, and I'm not a monster either. We're just different, that's all. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Pop, you didn't by any chance have an accident with that criminal brain, did you? I might have. You might have what? I might have dropped the jar, and the brain might have slid along the hall, and it might have been sucked into the janitor's vacuum cleaner, and I might have replaced the brain with a... a with what? Bubble gum. Bubble gum! No wonder the monster's personality is so... sweet! And so... so... bubbly? Exactly! <sighs> I was gonna say chewy. You, my, you. <gasps> and he's got Lydia. There Don't he worry, is. Lydia. We'll you. save you. Get him. <laughs> I don't need saving. <laughs> Just because I look weird doesn't mean I'm a monster. And neither is Milton. Lucky for you, Raticus. I had the foresight to install a homing mechanism in the monster's neck bolt. We'll simply recall him and have him fitted for a proper brain. But look, Phantom, I think Milton's finally getting the hang of it. <laughs> Yo, he went that way! <laughs> there he is! Yo, get him! A monster. More like a hero. I've had enough of this. Time to bring this pathetic excuse for a monster home. Mama. Mama. Where's Milton going? Oh. It sounded like he was homesick. This is taking too long! Radicus, hit the speed key! Radicus, yikes! Oops. What do you mean? Oops! My finger is stuck on the speed key! All gummed up, you might say. <laughs> 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 case for the files of Flying Rhino. So, are you getting used to the braces, Lydia? Yeah, no big deal. It's not like I'm the only person in the world who ever had to wear them. I feel kind of bad for Milton, though. He left before I got a chance to say goodbye. 
I hope he's okay. He's over six feet. I think he can take care of himself. Yeah, I just want him to be happy, wherever he is. Oh, 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 oh. 